Hello, viewers. In this tutorial, we'll be understanding about lookup functions. The lookup function is categorized under the Excel lookup and the reference functions. Now, what does this lookup function does? This lookup function would look for or search for a particular value you are searching in the table array you will be giving. Table array is nothing but the complete set of data you have in a particular sheet which you will be selecting where you need to search the data. Say for example, we have a format like this and either of searching going for control F and having the data uh, viewed manually. Why can't we have a set format that when I'm when I enter any name in this particular column? It would return me the set of uh, data related to that particular name. So what it is doing is it is searching for this particular data, which is in the cell E4 in that particular table array in salary sheet, say for example. Say for example, I'm doing it again. I'm searching for uh, the other name and you have the details listed down as the format is. Now, Lookup function is categorized into two further, which is VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. As the name suggests, VLOOKUP refers to VLOOKUP refers to vertical lookup and HLOOKUP refers to horizontal lookup. That means the table which is aligned vertically like this sheet will uh, we will have to apply. The VLOOKUP function. The uh, horizontal sheet where uh, say for example these fields are listed in a particular row so that would be an horizontal sheet. So you will have to adjust the sheet settings for applying these look lookup functions. So before we move forward to the syntax of VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP, we need to first understand first uh, we need to first understand the basic rule for lookup. So the lookup value in the column we are searching that this uh, in this particular case in this particular case we are searching for name in the table array so that column having the names should be the first column or row and should be sorted in the ascending order now if we see this sheet the salary sheet here the name column is the second column and it is not arranged in the ascending order as well Thus, we will have to arrange the salary sheet in the order we want for our lookup function. If you see in the sheet, we have arranged the name in the first column and we have arranged it in the ascending order as well. I'll show in a second how I have done that. What I have done is I've just copied the complete sheet into the desired sheet I want. And I can adjust the data as per my requirements now. You may cut or paste from here as well or from the shortcuts control X. Now insert cut cells and it would allow me to paste the second column into my first column. Now, now this is one requisite is done that it is in the first column. The other requisite I want that I want this in the order of ascending order. So you may use the shortcuts or you may select from here as well. I am using the shortcut alt H. S S fine. Now what it has done is it is sorted. The sheet is sorted now based upon the names in the alphabetical order. Now I can run my VLOOKUP functions. So this is the format say for example needed to be displayed for this format. What I have done for to prepare this format. What I have done. I have used transport function. This is say for example control C. We look up in the other sheet. Now there is an option of paste special transpose or here as well. We have transpose. I'll, uh, I'll show in the paste special window as well. This is transpose. I select OK and it has been the horizontal data has been now pasted in the vertical order. And I can arrange in the format I want. Here, employee number, department number, similar, and this designation code may be here. Say, for example, then gender, medical, and basic salary and net salary to be displayed here. So, for example, and what I have done is I have 
just formatted in the way I want. And I'm now using Format Painter. Done, done. Here the values would be displayed based upon the local functions, and you will be entering the formula in these cells only. So ready, you, your format is ready as I have, and what else I have done is I've just copied this. I have just typed VLOOKUP, say for example, by name you can of course type, and I have selected the range where the data would be entered, merge and center, and it is in the center. And of course you can go forward with the further formatting as well. Ready? So. This is all uh, what I have already done. So let's see how it is functioning. Uh, this is the name I have entered manually and here I'll be entering the formula. Now the previous formulas because I have edited the sheet, they are not functioning. I'll just type the formula and explain you how we look up functions. For this, you need to understand the syntax. We'll understand the syntax as we type the formula. Look up. Our sheet is arranged in. So now uh, we look up. It is giving you the description. Looks for a value in the leftmost column. Perfect. We have arranged in the leftmost column. That is the first column of the table, and then returns a value in the same row for column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in the ascending order. That's what the rule we have. I had just explained, and I have arranged the table in the similar manner. Brackets open. Look up value is this cell which is E4, comma, table array. Where is my table? Is in the V sheet. I'm selecting the range. I want my table. Right now, if you see this sim, uh, this is I'm here in the V sheet, but uh, because I was selecting the range, the formula is there in the formula bar, right? This is uh, now it is asking me which column data to be displayed column index number. Now I want employee number to be displayed, so I would write two here, right? And approximate or exact match. Then uh, say if we have two particular, uh, say we have Abhishek and Abhi as well. So it would look for the first most data and it would return you when I am going for approximate match. But when I select exact match, it would look for the complete name and then return you the value. It would not work on approximations. Brackets close and enter. So we can of course autofill. Yes, now uh, autofill this formula that would save time, but and but now look for the tip here that you need to always lock the cells which are being referred using F4. The reference cell uh, so that uh, your reference cell is same. Now if you see here, by when I autofill, the E4 has been autofilled as E5, and even the table sheet, table sheet, it was from A1 to say 41. It has also uh, increased by one cell number. So to avoid this error, we can use F4 to lock our cells. How? Like this. I have just pressed F4, and there is a dollar sign preceding cell number and uh, these row and the cell number. So what this F4 has done is it has included dollar signs preceding E and 4, which is my column number and my row number. So what if I need to freeze only one particular, say only column, so you can manually type dollars as well. You can manually type dollars as well. So let's see what it is doing. If I if I have done manually, so see in this form formula again, E remains constant and four is again being autofilled. So preferably we should always go for both rows and columns being locked. There would be times where you need to freeze only column or row. So at that point of time, you can freeze whichever you want as per the situation. And again, I want this A1 also to be freezed, F4 being pressed here, and M41 also be, to be logged. And now if I autofill, it would give me the same resultant because here I have mentioned column index number as two only. Now what I need to do is I need just need to change the column numbers. Now manually you can change 
the column numbers. These we know that these we know that are in the serial order. When nothing would be typed, it would result in into NA because it cannot locate any value in this lookup value cell. So as I type any name, as I type any name, it would result into complete details of that person. The only problem we have when the lookup value is a text character or a string is that it can be duplicate as well. So if we see in the sheet, we have two people named Kritika. Say for example, now one is in caps, one is in small, but it is even if I have written in, uh, even if I have written the text in small case, lower case, it has resulted the data for the caps uppercase data. Whichever is first we look up would return that. We look up or any lookup function is not case sensitive, thus they will give you the data whichever is found first. So even if I have typed it in small case, lower case, it has resulted the data for the first data it has got for Kritika. So what is the better way? That we have lookup value which is unique in nature. Say here we have employee number. The employee number is unique to each and every person. So it's better to have my lookup function set by employee ID rather than any other field. Then let's understand HLOOKUP by employee ID. The format again is same. The difference here is now I am I will be searching with employee number and name department number and other details will be filled in here. So of course I can write the number here which is IB102 whatever and it would result in into this or other way of doing is Instead of using employee IDs, what we can do is we can include the list here using data validation. So we already know how that works. I'll go to data tab. Data validation, data validation list. I am selecting the list I want is this particular list. Say for example, from this range to this enter and it's Done. OK, so now what I have done is I'll be searching for employee number of this employee number, which is selected through this list. I'm not typing the names or employee IDs again and again. Of course, this can be done with names as well. Any reference value it can be done. Now I'll be applying the same formula. So again, the same thing would be done. I have copied the range. I want it to be pasted, but again, I want it in the horizontal order. So I'm selecting transpose here and see your fields have been displayed in column now and the sheet is horizontally aligned now. Now the syntax is similar where it would return from the horizontal sheet. Lookup value is this cell comma table array. I'll be selecting from this sheet. Control shift right, control shift down. I have the range being selected here. <coughs> It is always preferable to write VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP formula in the formula bar itself because when you will swipe through sheets, the order of arrangement for formulas or the reference would change. So it is always preferred after you select the range, you should type the formula or the continued syntax in the formula bar only. So I write two here, comma, of course the exact match, but we not uh, we even can skip this thing here because these are unique itself in nature and it would automatically result into my desired data only. Now in the same way, I'll be locking the cells with F4. Even if I am copy pasting this locking the cell is important. Please remember everyone. I'm just pressing F4 by F4. In the range, I want to lo lock the cell. Enter, control C, control V. The one thing you can do is you can directly select the range you want to paste and paste it there as well. Right? 
the only thing you need to change is the row index number here now. Now it is because we are doing H lookup, it is referred as row index number because my data is aligned row wise now. Now manually you need to change each of these. So it is done. The programming is set and I'm changing the employee number and I have the complete details for and I have the complete details for it now. So even if I select for the people who have same names, but the employee number is different, so you will have different data for each of these. So isn't it just wow how by just a fixed programming I can have summarization for a data which is so wide and so much elaborate in nature. Please note everyone that we look up and edge lookup is just not limited to such formattings and such settings only. We can have multiple usages of we look up and edge lookup. I'll just show you a few sheets. This is one of the sheet where I have used we look up to have my manual attendance being done. This uh, I have the data in multiple files which is if you see I have for section A these files being saved. I have just used exact and we look up formula here. Of course if so if uh, it is exact if this name matches with the we look up function that they can find that in the attendance list this name so return P otherwise return A. So it has the formula is completely working and I have to just copy paste this formula into the new entry whichever new class I'll be taking and just drag and fill the formula and I have the manual attendance being filled so quickly. Now this is another sheet where I have applied VLOOKUP based upon the status of scheduling the presentations. If the presentation was postponed, I have deducted five marks. If it was preponed, of course I have added five marks and zero for the people who were as per the schedule. I have deleted the previously entered formulas to show you live that how did I apply VLOOKUP in this case. VLOOKUP, lookup value is postponed, brackets table array is this. Please remember that this table array is again arranged in alphabetical order and where it would be looking for the lookup value is arranged in the first left, left most column only. So K2 to L4 comma the resultant is in the column 2 so I press 2 the column index number is 2 brackets close and enter so I have it for postponed let's see if it is able to do for others as well now after this particular range it has gone for NA why because I have forgotten to lock the cells again now if I lock the cells for the for the table range it would not give me not applicable and it would give me the resultant data as per the formula I have entered. Of course, this can be done with your nested if as well, but why go for nested if if we understand we look up so proficiently. Specifically, I have not freezed this E2 because I want it to be based upon the respective scheduling status, not just E2. Right in the previous format, that particular cell was remaining same. That's why I had freezed that as well. But in this, that has to be autofilled with as I go with the next cell. So that's why I have not locked E2. That is the lookup value cell here. Now I hope you understand the efficiency of lookup function. This particular function is used in n number of jobs and roles, specifically where you are dealing with data in daily basis. Thank you. Please do like my video and hit the bell icon if you are liking the content I am sharing.